Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us today for our webinar session on SAP, SAP PM Printing Made Easy with Vesta Simple Print Solution. Our presenters today are Peter Mopert, the Director of Vesta Software Products, as well as Ben Stevano, a Senior Consultant at Vesta. Please feel free to ask questions throughout the webinar. They will be responded at the very end. And now I will turn the stage over to Peter Mobert. Thank you, Asha. And thanks, everybody, for joining. Um, so what we'll talk about today is our uh, Best Simple Print solution. Uh, as most of you already know, and the reason for you dialing in today is that printing attachments on work orders in SAP is a rather cumbersome task. It requires you to navigate to various different uh, areas of the work order, from the object services to the attachments on the equipment and function locations and the PRTs themselves. And then in some of those locations, even having to open up those documents themselves before you can print them. Um, and that also leads to sometimes your uh, attachments being printed in various orders. Um, if somebody else prints in the meantime, to the same printer, then their documents get in between yours. So it becomes a bit of a mess. Our solution to this is uh, Vesta Simple Print. And what it does is it essentially packages all the attachments that you have selected. Uh, we initially show a screen with all, where all the attachments are listed in one location, so you don't have to go clicking around anymore. And then from that, we go and convert that into a single PDF file which has watermarks uh, with the, the order number on it, as well as page numbering across the package. So per work order, we, we print one work package that you can add sequential page numbering, so you have everything nicely numbered, as well as uh, the ability to add custom headers and footers. And we can do this printing from IW32, 33, and 38, uh, so that you can also print multiple work orders. Um, and we have the ability to pull documents that are hosted on SharePoint or file servers and web servers, etc., as well as directly attached documents. Uh, these are just a list of the document uh, types that we can support in the conversion process. And then this is just briefly a high-level architecture overview of what happens. Um, the user selects all the, the attachments that they want to have printed in SAP. Those documents are then sent down to the user's uh, PC, where Simple Print then converts everything to a PDF file uh, with the watermarks and page numbers, etc. That file is then sent back up to SAP, and a spool is created, and that is then printed uh, from SAP. So briefly, just sort of step by step, you select the files to download. Uh, Simple Print converts them to a single PDF sends it back up to SAP and creates a school entry, and the file is then printed. And now I'll hand it over to Vim for the actual demo. Hi, Vince. Okay. So we're going to start off in IW32. This will work like Peter said in IW33 or IW38 but we'll start off in IW32. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is some of the pain points in printing an order package in general. Um, what you would normally have to do is print the order. First thing you would print is the, the shop papers themselves. So you would come in here, select all your shop papers, and hit print. Next, you would go onto the order and click the attachment list and select each of the attachments that you want to print here and then hit print on this section. From there, you would look at your function location and equipment and see if there's any icons next to them. If there is, you'll have to click each of the icons, open up the section, then double click on the document to get the, um, the picture or the Word document. And then from here, each one of them you'll have to print individually. Um, one of the last section is, sections is in the operations. Uh, you'll check on each operation to see if there's a PRT function. If there is, you'll select it, go over to the resource tools section, and then double click on each one of the resources. 
from here you'll see if any documents are on here uh, and you'll select and print each one of these documents. That's roundabouts anywhere from 32 to 35 clicks. So we've created in our solution an enhancement um, simple print, which is a button that is added to your enhancement tab. So if you have any other enhancements, we can easily put it in the same section. So we'll launch simple print. And what it has is it has some uh, buttons across the top. And these four right here allow you to pull in um, attachments from different sections of the work order. And I'll show you how to default these uh, to select them all or select specific ones. That way, every time you come in, you can have just the documents you want to see or all the documents. And this is, can be done through the change defaults. So in here, we can set and save defaults for each individual user. We can delete them. We can set the header text for the package, the footer text. We can output page numbers. We can set our uh, printer device, which uh, this printer is an SAP printer, but it maps to your local uh, printer on your machine. Um, you can select any one of the shop papers that you want to print. And then down here is where you select the document source or the sections of the order that you want to default when you come in and you launch simple print. So right now I only have work order and functional location selected. And this will, every time I come in, show me all the work order and functional location documents. When you're finished, you'll just hit execute. So from here, if I didn't have any, if I had shop papers selected, I don't have to select any documents. I could just hit print and it'll print the shop papers. But if I wanted to add a couple documents in there, I can select those at will and hit print. What it'll do now is uh, transfer those documents down to my PC, merge the documents, which it shows on the bottom. And then as it's merging them, it'll convert them into one PDF and then send them back up to SAP to create a spool. And then you'll get a message back saying they were successfully printed. So we can go to SPL1 and validate that print job. And we'll notice that it was, uh, it's got a spool job and it's printed. It is a PDF document. So when it opens up, we'll see that there is no header text because I didn't put any. I have a watermark of my work order number. My footer is my uh, NTID or my SAP ID. I have my page numbers and then you'll notice that all my documents are merged together in one package. This is actually very useful for when printing because now when it goes to print, it prints all as one. If there is an error in printing, um, or somebody tries to print in between, you can't because it's always one package. So you'll notice that all the pages and all the pieces are all in one package. If you need to reprint, uh, you don't have to go reselecting. You can go into your spool and just select the spool job and reprint from here. So now, since IW33 is the same way, we'll not go over that one. We're just going to go to IW38 and show you how that works. I have a default uh, variant set up for this, and we'll run it. So in here, I have, say I want to select two work orders that I want to print. I'll select those work orders, and in IW38, you're only allowed to have one button. So we've created some functionality that uh, this extra functions button allows you to have more than one function. That way, if a customer has multiple uh, or has something already in this one button, um, we can modify it to be put into this uh, dialog that has been created here. So we have print order documents here. We'll double click that. And it will bring up the same uh, configuration that we have in IW32 and 33. You'll still have your same page options, your, your selection for shop papers. The only difference is in the document source, um, when you select work order or DMS or equipment or functional location, you will be printing all the documents in those sections. We don't have the granularity that we do granularity to print as we do in IW uh, 32 and 33. Um, if we did, we'd have to go through each one of the orders, pop up all of the um, all of the documents, and let you individually select, which would slow down the process for printing. So in this case, you will select the work order or DMS and it will print all the documents for 
each one of those work orders. So when I hit go this time, it's actually going to transfer uh, all the documents for each one of those packages and individually create those packages. Once completed, it will create two different spools. Since I created, since I uh, did two work orders, it's going to create two different spools, uh, one for each work order. And as you can see, it's transferring the second one now uh, down to the machine merging. And like Peter said, this does support SharePoint files, um, server files. Um, it will also pull down files that you have linked on another web page, uh, HTTP or HTTPS files. So now that these are completed, we can go to SP01 and validate these two. So we had one from IW32, so here's IW38, the next two. And these are two individual packages for each one of my orders. And as soon as this opens up, you'll see that we've printed out another order. It's been packaged together. And, and that's how it's been nice and created. So with that, we're going to move on to questions. Perfect. Then there is one question that came in while Peter was speaking. I'm not sure if it's still relevant, but we will ask. What about transactions in IW3D or IW39? Um, currently, we're only supporting IW32, 33, and 38. Uh, we have not looked into IW3D or IW39 right now. Um, those, are, those can be potentially future modifications, but uh, as of right now, those are the key ones that are being used. Um, for printing packages, but that's certainly something we can look into. Great. Next question. What is required to install Simple Print? So Simple Print is actually very simple to install. Um, you're going to have SAP or a couple SAP transports, um, and uh, in those transports there is uh, a little bit of config, not actually much at all. Um, so if we go to simple config, um, this is actually all defaulted. Um, in the directions, there is some some little caveats that you can change, um, but there is there's really nothing that you really need to set up as part of the transports. There is also um, site config which this is used for any external authentication. Um, and here you'll set up your server or UOL that you have in the site and whether or not it's SharePoint and requires authentication externally. So if I have a SharePoint site um, that requires me to log in to get files out of it, they'll need to be set up in this section of the system. All this is documented in how to do it and it's, and it's very simple and easy. But these are the only two parts of the config. The other piece that needs to be installed is a client, um, a client installation, which allows you to, uh, to do the conversions on your machine. Um, and that's just a standard Windows installer, and it's a step-by-step, -step, and that's it. All right. Next question. Which version of SAP GUI are supported? So we support uh, GUI 730 plus, um, preferably patch 8 and above, but we do support lower, and the reason for this is there are two pieces of SAP functionality that we use called SAP PDF Print and SAP Sprint, and these two functionalities allow us to communicate between SAP and your printer. Um, it's sort of a print server, if you want to call it that. And the, for it to work correctly, SAP has their drivers, and they they work better at patch 8 level. Now SAP does recommend using GUI level 740. Now in 740 it's it's partially integrated and it has better support in 740. Okay. Next question, does it support NWBC Web UI? NWBC Web UI. Um, that's a good one. Uh, 
I have not looked into that one. Uh, would have to look into that. We do support, uh, you actually reminded me of something else, we do support Citrix um, as part of our installer, but I would have into NWBCI. Okay. Next question, does my printer need to be set up in SAP? No, it does not. Um, the way uh, this was configured is to generate uh, uh, default printers in SAP. It's, it's a standard uh, default printer, and which it does is it goes through those two applications or, or pieces of SAP that connect as the print server down to your default printer. Um, so there, all the drivers that you're using are only the drivers installed on your machine. So SAP doesn't need to know your printer. Okay. Perfect. And I believe those are the only questions we've had so far. Um, everybody, thank you so much for joining. If you have any other questions or would like to speak to either Peter or Vince directly, feel free to email us at info at vestapartners.com or visit our website, which is www com for any other webinars and up-to-date information. We look forward to seeing you on our next webinar, and everybody, thank you again for joining us this morning. Take care.